Think beyond traditional business banking. Think a partner that gives you in-depth financial insights. Anything that threatens a group's ability to make profit is a business risk. And without a plan to curb the impact of those risks, businesses are in trouble. On Business Matters today, we look at how business owners should consider both local and global risks. Well, Christopher, thanks very much indeed for talking to us. Understanding risk management is not as straightforward as one would think, right? Because if you use the Russian-Ukrainian war, for example, some would have never thought that it would affect a large food producer as much as it would affect a corner shop along the street, would it? You know, if you think about the concept of risk, risk is all about wanting to have a conversation about the future, future events, the impact of those events on your particular business, your particular province, country, if you like. So from that point of view, the relationship with South Africa and Russia and how that is perceived by the rest of the world, the people that are the foreign direct investors into our country, that impacts that relationship, it impacts that commitment, and of course, it trickles all the way down to our small, medium and micro enterprise businesses. Because the cost of capital, the cost of doing business, your prices, they all are affected. As a matter of fact, you actually become too expensive and to run your business becomes too expensive. And therefore, we are losing SMMEs and over fist. Is determining risk markedly different between a big business and a small business? You will have effective risk management in as far as do I understand my stakeholders, do I understand the context in which I operate, and then of course which risks do I then identify against what I want to achieve. And in that lies the difference, because a multinational's objectives would be very different to that of the corner shop or a small, medium, or micro enterprise. So the process to identify risk will be the same. The type of risk will be different. I'd like to ask you whether or not it is expensive. Well, it will be expensive if there's no payback. Payback normally happens when you embody risk management, when you train your leadership, your decision makers, to be able to do risk management as a built-in to their style, to their leadership style, to their decision making. Mostly people want to comply and therefore it becomes expensive because there is no payback just to do risk management in order to tick the box. I suppose it's no surprise that power cuts and infrastructure related problems have emerged as the number one risk locally. The way we approach it, has that changed over the last 15 years? Load shedding is really no longer a risk. I mean, we've got a schedule. We know when it's going to go down and therefore we are able to respond better. So people with access to capital that can invest money into diesel generation, into renewable storage, for example, they can respond um, quite easily. But again, back to our small, medium and micro enterprises, that's just hitting the bottom line directly. It's just an additional cost, either because I don't have electricity and therefore I shut down, or alternatively, I have to run my generator to be able to provide my products and my services, and my price just goes up. It just becomes very costly. And therefore, we see um, a large number of our SMEs closing their doors. This speaks to why a structured risk management structure or entity in a business is important because you are going to get return for that investment in some shape or form. It is both positive and negative. In risk lies opportunity and we need to change our conversation, our narrative. We need to start thinking about how can we positively respond to a perceived negative situation, to change it around and to leverage opportunity out of a risk that we intend to manage. Christopher, thanks very much indeed for talking to us. So risk managers help organizations and individuals to understand the current political and economic environment and the trends to come. They come at a price though, but venturing into the unknown without guidance could be even more costly. This program is in partnership with NetBank Commercial Banking, a banking partner that thinks bigger to guide your business growth.